Good morning, Sharks. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Today, we're here at the Lakeland Farmer's Market. This takes place every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in downtown Lakeland. We're so lucky to live in such a beautiful city with so many activities. That's right. And next thing we have to try is the food truck rally. I've always wanted to go to one. I've heard such great things about it. Lucky for you, TSC News reporter Chloe has all the information about Lakeland's food truck rally in today's top story. On the second Thursday of every month, the Tampa Bay Food Truck Rally comes to Men Park and hosts Thursday Squared. This event is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and includes music, games, fun, and of course, food. 20 trucks are here to provide meals such as barbecue and tacos. Food trucks originated in the United States in 2010. My favorite thing about the food truck rally is the Mac Shack. Their mac and cheese is the bomb. My favorite part about the food truck rally is that I can see different cultures of food all at one place. This is my first time going to a food truck rally and I tried boba tea and it's really good. If you missed today's food truck rally, there's another chance for you to catch it next month. Chloe Lanham, TSC News. You have to try this. Um, Ava, you. Sorry, I got a little carried away. This is just really good. And there are so many vendors to choose from. If you had your own food truck, what would you sell? Nachos. Oh, I would sell burgers. Let's go see what the culinary students would sell in their food trucks with Dallas in today's Classroom Spotlight. Did you know that food trucks in the United States can be traced back to the late 17th century when many of them were found in large cities along the East Coast? In August 2010, a Food Network show called The Great Food Truck Race became the first TV show centered on the mobile food industry. Seventh graders in Miss LaFountain's culinary classes recently had the opportunity to create their own food truck businesses. They work together designing menus, inventing recipes, and building their very own food truck from the ground up. They even cooked and enjoyed their tasty food truck fare. Uh, the name of my food truck is Good Omens, and I'll be serving uh, special types of burritos. The name of my food truck is Hakos, and I will be serving hot dogs on a taco. The name of my food truck is Sloppy Dogs, and I'll be serving hot dogs. The name of my food truck is Run From The Border, and I will be serving quesadillas on it. It's called Tower Toast, and I'll be serving French toast. The name of my food truck is Slice of Life, and here on Slice of Life, we I will be serving quesadillas. Well, the process of creating the food trucks, first we had to do a layout, and then we did an internal, and then we started designing our food trucks and names while we planned them out. What I learned was that it's kind of uh, hard making a food truck because you have to put all the menu together and everything. I learned that it's kind of hard trying to make a business, even if it's something small as a food truck. But though it was pretty easy trying to come up with uh, names for menu items that still fit with the whole idea of my, the name of the food truck. I learned how actually hard it would be to create an actual food truck in real life because there are more than just this and I already find this hard. It's a hard process because you have to manage the food truck. You also have to create a menu and you have to do all the interior designs for the food truck too. I learned how to plan for a business and create a menu for my business. Miss LaFountain students did a great job and enjoyed participating in this fun hands-on activity. They will long remember the hard work and effort it takes into making a successful food truck business. Dallas Gray, TSC News. I'm so full. What about dessert? Did I say I was full? I always have room for dessert. While we find a good dessert booth, let's go to the Shark Scoop with Abby for today's announcements. Happy Friday, Sharks. I'm Abby, and I'm so glad you joined me for today's announcements. Here's the news you need to know. TSC News would like to congratulate the students who are moving to the District History Fair. Here are the talented Sharks competing on February 20th in Bartow. Don't forget to buy your carnations for Valentine's Day from the FFA and biotech departments. Monday and Tuesday mornings at the car ramp before school will be the only time you can buy them. It will cost you $2 for a beautiful carnation and message. The carnations will be delivered 7th period on Valentine's Day. Our soccer teams have their first games next Tuesday, February 12th. And the best part is the games will be played at home over at Lake Gibson High. Our girls play at 6.30 and the boys play at 7.30. LG students are free if they wear their school t-shirts, so come and support our soccer players. Thursday, February 14th, will be Valentine's Dress Down Day. For $1, you can wear red, white, or pink. So mark your calendar and start planning your outfit today. This week's Word of the Week has been entrepreneur. It's a noun that is one who organizes. 
manages, and assumes the risk of a business or enterprise. Don't forget the deadline for the Lakeland Magic's Black History Essay Contest is two weeks from today. Keep working on those essays for a chance to win four courtside seats and to be recognized at halftime during March 3rd's game. Abby Ogburn, TSC News. I have bad news. What? We don't have enough money for dessert. That is pretty bad, but it's your fault because you kept buying all that good food. I'm sorry, it was just so delicious. My mom's around here somewhere. We're going to go find her while you watch today's Hot Topic with Riley. Lakeland is a vibrant city full of interesting history, beautiful scenery, and thriving art scenes. There's always something to do in our exciting town, like Pig Fest, the Classic Car Show, and the Hispanic Heritage Festival, and weekly and monthly get-togethers like Downtown Farmer's Market, First Friday, and Food Truck Rallies. Lakelanders always have something to do in our exciting town. Today's Hot Topic question is, what's your favorite thing to do in Lakeland and why? My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is go to Munn Park. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is to fish. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is go to the roller skating park. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is go to Urban L. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is baseball. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is go swimming. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is go to the Polk Theater. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is going swimming and hanging out at the beach with all my friends. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is spending time with family and friends at the Southeastern University football games. My favorite thing to do in Lakeland is watch movies at Cinemark Theaters. So next time you're looking for something to do around town, visit business.lakelandchambers.com slash events. There you'll find a list of upcoming sports games, plays, concerts, and so much more. I'll see you out and about around our beautiful city. Riley McDonald, TSC News. We can get our dessert now. Finally, I've been looking forward to this all morning. We hope you enjoyed our show here at the Lakeland Farmers Market. If you've never been before, you should really come when you have a free Saturday. Make sure to watch TSC News next week for shows about cruises, baking fails, and behind the scenes of our school's cafeteria. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Have, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend, Sharks! sharks.